Cozy. This is my seasonal take on a comfort food classic. Y'all, I'm talking about lasagna. I'm making butternut squash and kale lasagna spirals. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So, good. like, vegetarian, not vegan, but vegetarian. It is vegetarian. That's yeah. right. This would be perfect for a meatless Monday. It also is a great freezer meal because we're making them into spirals. Oh. You can individually freeze the spirals That's and then just have them to pop in to make a quick weeknight dinner. I love because it. Because this is a little labor intensive, you'll see. Jeff, I'm gonna have you continue to dice up our butternut squash here. You don't have to do anything with this one. It's just here Very for good nice. looks. Good. So I like them a small dice and we're gonna roast those in the oven. I've got my pan here to start cooking our veg that goes into the filling. So some minced onion. And I like to cut this up pretty fine and just cook them just for a couple minutes till they start to get translucent. That happens pretty quickly because they're so small. Now, with this recipe, you know, we're obviously using a fresh butternut squash that we're chopping up. You could get the pre-packaged, the ones that are already chopped up for you at the grocery store. You can buy frozen butternut squash that you could roast, or you could just do a whole substitution and use canned butternut squash puree Ooh. in this recipe. Are we, uh, are we gonna puree this or is it gets roasted? No, and then I'm, I'm just roasting it, okay. it and keeping it whole. So I'm like, I don't why think am I I've seen it, butternut you know. squash puree yet in my grocery store. I'm gonna have yeah, to, I'm not probably even paying it, attention. It's right around where the pumpkin is. You could use canned pumpkin in this too if you just wanted the whole thing to be creamy. I like the texture of having yeah. the pieces of the butternut squash. All right, so I'm gonna add to this some chopped up mushrooms. So these are creminis that I've finally chopped. You could use white buttons. You could use a mixture. The sky's the limit with your mushrooms. And cook those just until all that water comes out of them. And then adding to it some garlic. Mm, that's a lot, I like that. Yeah, I like a lot of garlic in this. I think that mushrooms just take on that garlic flavor so well. And then some nice fall herbs. I always think of sage in the fall. Of course. That's one of my favorite cool weather herbs. And some thyme. Both just taste so good with those mushrooms, especially, and with the butternut squash. It really highlights those fall cozy flavors. I'm finito a here, Miss, Miss Lee. Wow, Beans. okay. <laughs> Toss it with some olive oil, salt and pepper, put it into the oven. Those are gonna cook until they're fork tender. It takes about mm -hmm. 25, 30 minutes at that size. Uh, 30, 35, you know, just kind of watch it. 425 degrees. You got it. All right, and I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I also think when you're involving squash with pasta, mm -hmm. it can get a little sweet, even if you don't put sugar. Mm -hmm. so yes, those, you're right. those herbs, that sage, they just, the garlic keeps yeah. it savory. Keeps yeah, totally. Brings it on over to savory. Add some savory. Ooh. I'm gonna add to it some shredded kale. Mmm. You know how usually in a lasagna, not usually, but sometimes in a lasagna, you'll have spinach doing like a spinach ricotta filling. Mm -hmm. So that's where my kale vibes are coming from. Look at that. these little morsels over here, huh? You perfect. know that's good. So see how they cook down even smaller? Mm. And they're perfect to go into the filling. All right, those mm. are so sweet and good. You're gonna know you're eating squash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, totally. So you just wanna let that cook all the way down, then let it cool off and we're gonna make our filling. So for our filling, I've got some ricotta cheese here. I've got one egg to go in. You give that a little mix. And then I'm gonna add to it some Parmesan cheese. You could also use Pecorino Romano, mm. that would be great. I'm gonna add in some shredded cheese. This is like the, the bag of the Italian mixed cheese. Wow, like Katie. Mozzarella, yep. provolone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. vibes. Asiago, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, Jeff, Farm. take those and, and put them right in here. And I'm gonna add the <laughs> mushroom kale filling. Don't strain yourself, Jeff. Mm, what's up, America? <laughs> All right, enough of that. You see what I deal with here? I know. All right, Look at that. give it a quick oh, mix. Super clean up. This looks great. It just is like the perfect fall lasagna. Okay, I made a classic bechamel. Ooh, so I this, I put wow. some of it already underneath the little lasagna rolls. Nutmeg and all? Yeah, little nutmeg. Yes. The nutmeg's really important because of the kale mm -hmm. too. I think that that really brings out the flavor and the greens. And I've got some cooked lasagna noodles here. It takes about a third of a cup of filling per lasagna noodle. 
And then we're just gonna oh. spread it out. Just that twack. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like Whatever. a cartoon yeah. sound yeah. seeing. Right? Yeah. I love I mean, it. Now, if you're going to the effort of making this, maybe you want to just double the recipe. Yep. Yeah. And double. and freeze. Yeah. Like I said, these freeze individually really nicely. Tell you, if you ask me, I would serve this at Thanksgiving. It'd be a great, oh, great uh, it's vegetarian. It's like a mix of yeah. uh, mashup. Mm -hmm. oh, well, there's some families that do lasagna on oh, Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, yeah. I do yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lasagna yep. or. Um, Ravioli. I mean, I would take ravioli. lasagna any day. All right, so oh, little spiral. Pretty beautiful spiral. Pop them in the eight by eight here. Now, one of our favorite things to do in the fall, we've done the last couple of years now that we have Iris, is to go to Hank's Pumpkin Town. Do you know right. Hank's Pumpkin of Town? It's in Southampton. The traffic is crazy around this really? place because it's on a two-lane highway. Worth it. So it, it's like you got a plan to be sitting there for a while, but look how much she loves it. Let me see. Here she is on her little tractor. Oh. Uh, having a great yeah. time. All right, I'm going to top this oh, with the bechamel. God, that looks Ooh, luscious. Double bash. Uh -huh. So this is our sauce, and it smells so good. It's you could have just even that little bit and throw of, the cheese in, but yeah. over the top, huh? Yeah. I'll so take here it. Here we go. Here I say you might even want to like bump the nutmeg up. Yeah. Of kind of. Yeah, I mean, false, everything false that's here. in this benefits from that little bit of nutmeg. All right, so smear it all over. And then I'm going to top it with more cheese. That's right. Because lasagna needs to have cheese. Did your mother approve this recipe? This would this... definitely not be a Kim Becker approved no. recipe. Kim Becker. Oh, is this, yeah. like, this is no. Well, it does have kale and butternut squash and mushrooms, but all the cream and the cheese. Okay, that's the liberal amount of cheese there, honey bunny. I really I like, like you in the winter months. I like wow, that. Wow, what thick restraint. <laughs> 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 and, now, and now for that. I like a thick layer of cheese on top of my lasagna. I don't play when it comes to the cheese. Mm. Okay, this is going to go in 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Yeah. This is heavy. Covered or uncovered? Uncovered. If it starts to brown too much, Covered. then you can okay. cover it up. A little guy on there, yeah. Gotcha. All right. Ooh. Ooh. You see that? I saw a little corner. Silence. Ooh. Move the tray. Move the I tray. I don't know what to Jeff. do. I'm staring at the cheese. Move it. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a that's oh, an oven full. Snap, how, how much does that weigh? 14 pounds? I mean, this is heavy. Feel it. Watch the oh my god, there's a fissure in the cooking board. Yeah. <laughs> it is heavy. Now, usually you'd let this sit right. for like 10 Forget minutes it. before no, you cut into it. it. But we are not in the business of I'm, having patience. No, right? I will take the lasagna, lasagna lanch, lanch right now. A lasagna lanch? Lasagna lanch. You might lasagna want to rename lanch. lasagna yeah. lanch. All right, and you want a corner, right? Of the course you like... want the corner of the lasagna. Also, you know maybe because you did the roll-up thing, maybe you don't have to Oh, that's it right. You just much, it's not That's like true. That's layered true. Like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to that's so we true. can eat it quicker. You probably just have to pull out a justifying. roll. Justifying. Yeah, it really is just getting a roll. Oh, my oh, I think God. You, did you, I think you found a roll. Oh, my God. You know what good with this, Jeff? We'll go good. A, a beer. A side of sausage. Oh, yeah, a little zazzy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this would be great with sausage yeah. in it if oh you wanted God. to add meat. You can even do like a turkey, or like turkey crumb, you know? Yes, like yes. Ground turkey. Oh, my God. But I mean, this I have looks, a feeling we're going to be wanting really... for nothing. Oh, wait, should I pass? I should no. no, it's yours. No, it's all it. yours. Okay. Eat Nobody's it. going to judge you here. Look at that. Wow, mm. that's gooey. Thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh no. Earthy mushrooms, the 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 kale. The kale doesn't stand a chance in here. <laughs> it's really just there for decoration. Right? It you know, is. I I think you're cute with your window dressing this time of year. I, I get it. But honestly, this is about that squash, the cheese, the earthiness of the mushrooms. The bechamel is like a comforter in front of the fire. You know what I mean? Look, yes. it's already getting warm. Then you add more warmth. It, that it's, it's, Look at it's, my cheese top. It's a delicious redundancy. This is an oh my gourd alert. Oh my Forget gourd. Forget about a fiber alert. I love these flavors, Katie.